Welcome again to A Quest for Metal. Today we are ranking it in our Nafrax albums from weakest to strongest. They have just been growing in popularity within my bands at the moment. I've just been listening to so many, so many songs, so many albums constantly. It's just been on repeat. One of the bands that I've just been binging the hell out of. And I love pretty much all the songs. This is a Again, a band kind of like Bolt Thrower, which I did a ranking on, which there's not really a bad album. There's no bad Anal Nafrak albums. There just isn't. Um, so it's going to be hard to do this ranking, but I think I've got my setup solid. I think my list is, is pretty perfected at the moment, and it's not going to be the same as other lists I've seen. I've seen a lot of people, uh, they generally have a consensus of like the better albums. And then the worst album is gonna be mine's gonna be a bit different. But without further babbling, let's get into the list with my least favorite Anal Nafric album. So my least favorite Anal Nafric album is Domine Non Est Dignus. And this may come as a shock to some people. They're like, "What the fuck? Why isn't Dessa or whatever the fuck it's called last?" But no, this one's last for me. Uh, I think mainly it's the production on it. People say the same about that one, but the earlier albums. They don't grab me as much because of the production. Uh, it's a bit muffly, and this is the album with the worst production that I can't really gravitate towards. Too many standout songs. There is good songs on here. The album as a whole is still good, but there's no nothing that jumps out of me. You know, like on those other albums I mentioned, you know, like Codex Nectar and stuff, stuff jumps out. On this one, nothing has really jumped out and grabbed me. Procreation of the Wretched is cool. Um, I mean, there is cool songs here. It's just... The album as a whole is the only, well, one of the only ones which hasn't put its hooks in me as of yet. And it, it's definitely the weakest for me. Definitely the weakest. It's It might be high on some people's list because it's frantic and it's furious and it's, you know, more black metal-y. Which I, I do love, but for Anal, I prefer the kind of industrial, kind of clean, kind of catchy melody shit. So you might see them really fucking high, but... It's still a great album, it's just coming last on my list, I'm afraid. Next up, going with the latest album, A New Kind of Horror. It's kind of contradicting myself <laughs> with this one, but uh, the song structure, the song writing on this one, this album, yeah, I don't think it's as good as any of the others. I don't think it's as good. There's, again, there's not as memorable songs compared to a lot of the other albums, but I think it's better than Dominate because I remember Forward because that Machine Gun riff, so that's a fucking good song. Um, I remember uh, Obscene as Cancer, that's probably the best song on the album, that's an amazing song, and music video, I adore that one. And New Bethlehem is so interesting, so it has like standout tracks that I can name and be like, those are fucking good. Whereas Dominate, I can just be like, ah, it's good as a whole, but nothing stands up. This, I can point things out, so it's a step ahead, in my opinion, but again, Compared to all the other albums, it's being left in the dirt. It's being left in the dirt, but it's still a fucking great album. Now we come to a Desideratum. I fucking love this album. Some people have this last because of the sound of it. It's a bit kind of too industrial, I guess. Um, compared to the raw and intense stuff in the earlier days. But this is this has some fucking amazing songs on. Unleash, Idol, and Joystream. Bathe in the joy stream. Oh, that chorus. That bloody chorus. Joy stream is easily my top 10 songs by now. Easily. So this album just gets a higher grade than those two because it has fucking joy stream on it. Joy stream is just beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Unleash is a beautiful song. Yeah, this album's great. But there's still way more albums that are better than it. So let's move on. So next up, Eschaton. This is... Just great from start to finish. The production is a bit worse, I think. It's it's in the lower end of the production, which I'm not a big fan of that. Those first three albums, I'm kind of like, eh, I wish it was like, I wish it sounded like a new kind of horror. Because then, this album would be way higher. Because the songs on this one, Magnifique. Between shit and piss, we are born. Covered and shit. Blah. I mean, that song is just... <laughs> when he says that vocal line, it's it's, it's fantastic. It's great. Um, <laughs> one of the best Anal songs. Amazing as hell. The Yellow King, the melodies in the Yellow King. Waiting for the Barbarians, frantic as hell song. All these songs are catchy. The melodies are there. 
the hooks are there, the riffs are there, and the vocals are intense as you expect from Anal. So it's a bloody great album. I just wish the sound was more like the newer sound, but I can't, I'm not going to hold it against it. It's still a perfect album. Still love it. I still love all these albums. But yeah, for the time being, this is where it's going to be. It might rise higher. Might rise, but for the time being, it's going here. So coming in next, we have the Codex Necro, the very first album by Anal, and I think it's it's one of the better ones. Like the 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 intensity in this album is just off the fucking walls. The intensity, the catchiness, the hooks on these songs, just oh, this album is amazing. Submission is for the weak. What a beautiful song. Humanity is cancer. Come on. And one of my favorites from it is like a weirder one. It's Paradigm Shift. I love that song. It's a very strange one, but it just, I don't know, it just works, in my opinion. Like, all these songs are killer. They can't do no wrong on this album. They can't do no wrong on most of these albums. It's only uh, the latest one, which I'm a bit iffy on, and Domine. Those are the only two ones I'm a bit like, these are good. The rest, fucking fantastic, and this is no different. Next up, we got one which I really love, which some people don't like. Passion. Some people have this really low on the list compared to the others. Some people have this low on the list because uh, it's a bit experimental, a bit weird, but I fucking love it for that. I mean, that fucking intro, the intro to drug fucking abomination, when he's just like, holy fuck, he just screams his lungs out. It's the best intro to any song ever. It is. And this has my favorite Anal Nafrak song on of all time. My favourite non afrit song is on this album. Todd Huatet Ubel is just the most frantic song you'll ever hear in your entire fucking life. Those screams, those screams are like something out of a madman. Like, if you, if you went into a mental asylum and you went up to a mental patient who's been strapped in for years with no sunlight, this is what he would sing to you. This song is what he would sing to you because it's fucking insane. I can't remember which song it is, but there's a song which sounds like uh, Donald Duck on here, or Daffy Duck, <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, this album is bonkers, this album is absolutely bonkers, and I love that, love that, this album is mental, and it's probably the most mental in all that album, in my opinion, so yeah, it's going high, love passion, it's with a passion, next up we're gonna get into some controversial shit now, in the constellation of the Black Widow, I mean, just that song alone is 10 out of 10, when he ends with that widow scream, shivers, shivers down your spine. That's not my spine, but you know, <laughs> I can still get shivers down my arm. More of fire than blood. There's so many good songs on this one. There's no wonder why people have this top. People say this is the best album. And I'm gonna say objectively, sure it's the best album. Sure, objectively, but this is a subjective list and we're going with fucking what I like. This is amazing still though, like frantic as hell, the darkest sounding album, the most evil sounding album, and one of the best closers as well, Blood Eagles carved in the backs of, um, is it Christians? I can't remember the last part, but it's, the, it's a Blood Eagle song. The last song is just mind blowing. Love it. Love all the songs on this, it's just, I prefer some of the others, so this is a controversial pick, and so is my next one. My next one is Hell is Empty and All the Devils Are Here. These two people have one and two usually on all the lists I've seen. And I can totally agree. These two are just perfect, perfect, perfect albums. No bad songs on them. I just prefer the sounds of some of the other albums. But yeah, I mean, you got Virus Bomb on here. Fucking Virus Bomb, Shatter the Empyrean, and my favorite, Genetic Noose. That's in my top 10 songs. Genetic Noose is a beautiful song. It's just as furious as in the constellation of the Black Widow. But I think there's a bit more catchy songs on this one. I think there is a bit more catchy songs on this one, so it's going a little bit higher. And that's the only reason both these albums are fucking good. But now we're getting into my favorites. Now we're getting into the good shit. Okay, so number two, and this was my number one for years. It's the very first Anal album I heard. It's the Hall of the Law. Um, nostalgia aside, re-listening to this, it's furious. It fucking beats you to a pulp. And you love it. Depravity Favors the Bold is just... I mean, come on. It's it's just the most mental thing ever created. Aside from Todd Hittet Ubel. <laughs> this is just, oh, as soon as I heard this, I was like, what the fuck have I got myself in for? This is insane, but oh so good. And then 
We will fucking kill you. Oh, that chorus, so catchy. That's why I love this. That's why I love this one and my next one the best because it's not just intense as hell, it's also melodic and catchy. Like the other ones are too, but you can hear them better on these. <laughs> these two, so they're a bit higher. This album is just 10 out of 10. This album's a 10 out of 10. It's the first album I heard, so sure it gets a bit of a nostalgia bonus, but it's still amazing today. Still amazing today. Go put it on, go listen to it. Still perfect. But one album knocked it off, and it, people don't expect this. When people will be annoyed that this is top. They're like, oh, why is that top? But my fucking opinion, my favorite album easily is Vanitas. I mean, from the beginning, Blood Din Tide, you know you're in for something good. You know you're in for something fucking special. Blood Din Tide is just an amazing start, and then forging towards the sunset, need I say more? Denying bitter reality. Oh, forging towards the sunset. The end scream of forging towards the sunset just, just goes on for so long. It's it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's, it's it's probably my second favorite song. All my first. I might knock the other one down. Forging towards the sunset is perfect. Then you got Todos Soldados Humanos. Just everything on here is catchy as fuck. Tu finisipa. Every single song has like a catchy ass fucking chorus. Every single one. And then you got Make Glorious the Embrace of Saturn, which has just the best riff they've ever fucking made in any album. That, that song is underrated as hell. Of Fire and Fucking Pigs. Come on. This, this, this album's flawless. I can't think of a bad song on here. Some people might say, yeah, it's not as frantic as Codex Necro. So some people might have that top. It's not as dark as into the constellation of the black widow so i can see why people wouldn't have this top but for me it just has everything mixed in together as a perfect blend it's the perfect blend for now it's got crazy shit it's got melodic shit it's not too industrial it's not too you know bombastic kind of like desideratum if i've said that right um i just think it's a good mix and because it's my list this is top my favorite anal album of all time and I just bought the shirt because I love it so much. I'm waiting for it. It's fucking Corona. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my list. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Rank them as well. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.